amazing acts of bravery by several officers as they save a woman from a burning car. As David Winter shows us, an unbelievable set of coincidences collided over the weekend and led to this heroic rescue. 8.30 Saturday night, Hamilton County Sheriff's Deputy Babs comes across what he believes is the car for which there was a bolo, a be on the lookout. A woman named Mary Tess was missing. He sees Mary inside, passed out with her foot on the accelerator. He runs to get something to break the window, but is unsuccessful. Now a fire has started under the car. That's when Montgomery police officer Richard Riley and Evendale officer Joe Asbrock arrive. Mary was supposed to meet Asbrock and his wife earlier for dinner. He's the one who put out the bolo for her. Officer Riley, just two hours earlier, had helped Mary on the side of the road by changing her tire. Now they were all desperately beating on her windows, trying to rescue her as the flames were growing. Finally, Officer Riley pulls out his service weapon. Officer Asbrock runs to the passenger side and undoes Mary's seatbelt, while Officer Riley dives into the burning car and pulls Mary to safety. You know, to be willing to go into a burning car and pull somebody out is, that is just way beyond anything. We caught up with Mary at her home in Madeira. She was back from the hospital after suffering burns to her face, elbow, and hands. I wish him the best too because I understand his hands were burned from how hot the car was and I'm going to be reaching out to him today. Officer Riley did sustain burns to his hands, wrist, and head. He's also recovering at home. He sent us this message for Mary. Luckily, your friends and the other officers were able to locate you before it was too late. I wish you the best and a speedy recovery. You can see the ground is still scorched where Mary's car caught fire. Give it a couple of months and this will be all back to normal. But it has left an indelible impression on Mary. I don't know what I would do without her. <laughs> Thanks to the quick work of some dedicated officers, Mary's daughter will have her mom around for a while. David Winter, Local 12 News. Oh my goodness, wow. Mm. Mary tells us a diabetic episode caused her to crash and get this, she co-owns a bakery and earlier that same day, she had been out in her car delivering cakes to police stations in honor of Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. It's just incredible.